Hey, what is going on, everybody? Scott the Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. Real funny cartoon in there. Jeff, you ripped them. I was going to ask about the articles, but never mind. We're playing some more Wasteland 3. Uh, we just, we've headed back into Colorado. We're just going to head over and speak to old Daisy over here, see if she's got anything to say. I don't think she's... What do you need, Rangers? Uh, now that we're going here, let's have a delicate, have a delicate question. Um, who steps in when he dies, wow. the Patriot? Want me to say it should be you? No. Only if that's what you think. <laughs> Good answer. You rangers are my kind of folks. Okay, but you didn't answer the question. Are we friends now? I like you rangers, but a girl needs to be sure before she commits, if you know what I mean. We ain't quite there yet. Come on, Daisy. Right. Roger okay. that. Um, I think we we're gonna head out of town in a bit. We've just we've come into town to try and find uh, Mama someone, Mama Mama someone. I can't remember who. Um, there was a lady down here, wasn't there? Who was looking for her her mother? I'm guessing those two things are unrelated, but uh, go miss. Oh, I forgot to mention we went back to the we went back to the office. We went back to the um. <laughs> We went back to the uh, to the HQ. Uh, we had a look around. We just healed up and and moved some weapons around. And we found Scotchmo in the uh, in the the canteen, drunk. Uh, and we thought, we know what we'll do. We'll arm him with a gun and take him out with us. Um, so here he is with his hobo shotgun and his melee weapons. Um, and I think he's ready to he's ready to kick some ass. Oh, he's he's. Melee weapons a little bit smaller than I anticipated. And ironically, it comes after just as we got rid of all of our melee weapons because no one was using them. Uh, anyway, here he is. Here's the hobo, Scotch Mo. Uh, he's in the house and he's ready He's ready to do some work for us. Um, interestingly, what I like about him is here. Way of the Squeezins, variations of drunken kung fu, have flourished in the wasteland. Masters of the form stagger unpredictably with strike and wild rage. Uh, they are not, however, popular neighbours. Melee danger damage mo minus 20. Range damage uh, minus 20. Gain 50% damage while drunk. So we've essentially got to keep him, got to keep him shit faced, which is great. I mean, he's not at the moment, but we will, we will get to that. Um, right, we want to, we want to come and talk to you, really, don't we? See if your mother's turned up yet. Yeah. yeah. What do you want? We want to know if your mother. Nothing. Uh, fine. That's fine. We just want to know if your mother turned up. Cause we're nice like that. Baron Brygo shot and killed for working with Dorsey's. Hey Rangers, Hi. looking for the latest news? Yeah. What do you think of the town? Well, it's the only safe place we've got. Vegas is gone. The robots saw to that. The refugees say the East is dying too. Might still be a couple nations out there. Motor City Combine and Buckeye Republic. But they were at war last we heard. <sighs> Colorado's the only safe place left. And we have the Patriarch to thank. That makes this town the best place in the world, near as I can tell. Even if it isn't perfect. Well, that's a, a very you sensible bet. attitude, buddy. Little Vegas closed until further notice. City dubbed totally lame by local youth. Oh, boy. Oh, those two again. Okay, we were. Well, we can go in here. We know there's a. Oh, that's a mannequin. <laughs> Hi, buddy. We've Cassidy barely Cassidy got any money. We've spent it all. What can I do for you? Uh, show me what you have for sale. Anything new? Look at this. Nice. Um, you've got nothing that we want, really. Okay. We've barely got any money. We sold all of our junk uh, and other stuff. We still don't know who this dude is and what he's doing here. Um. We don't want you, mate. Oh, it's not us. You talked about the, the marshals, not the rangers. Um, we're looking for a mar who We should find out who we're looking for, right? We should find out who we're looking for. Um, have a talk with Mama Cotter. Colorado Strings. Where can I find her? Does it, does it give me any indication as to where I might find her? There's a container over here. We should definitely open it, right? Nice, an old sock and some money. 
That's exactly what we wanted. Um, oh, she's over here, right? She's the she's the hillbilly family, right? Yeah, here we go. Do you want from Mama Sorry about putting my ass right in your face, mate. Uh, we met some refugees in the bazaar. They said you hired smugglers to sneak them into Colorado Springs. Scrapes a yellow too for a dirt encrusted nail. Maybe so. Where are those refugees now? They're on the way here. Uh, we brought them passage on a caravan. <laughs> Law keepers with a conscience? Well, shit. I wouldn't have guessed. Come on, Mama Car. We're all after the same thing here. <laughs> I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to lift a finger for him. So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? She'll be safe in the Ranger lockup. Reyes would want her in jail. He's a powerful man to have as a friend. And the Rangers could use some powerful friends. Hmm. Well, am I under arrest? Well... Um. Not this time. Glance around while I was smiling and shaking you my head. No, no, Mama, so well. She ain't gonna stop helping those folks, no matter what anyone says. In that case, we'll have to take her into custody. Oh, I mean, we we offered, right? We offered an olive branch. All they had to do was turn oh, the other cheek. Oh no, you ain't. You'll have to go through us first. Okay. Stand down, Bobby. These are the same folks who shot up the door season the Garden of the Gods. They must have killed Stenerud and his smugglers, too. We don't stand a chance against them. This ain't with the lives of my boys. I'll go quietly. Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? Place Mama Carter under arrest and the squad to pick her up. Oh. Us, we thought it. A squad over and out. I mean, sorry, Mama Car, you, these guys are a little bit annoyed. Uh, Broadmoor Heights. That's over here. It's not over here at all. It's over there somewhere, right? Have we got any anybody in here who wants to come and work in a garage? You ever hear of car gardens? You mean where they grow these Wait fine automobiles for our personal use? You. Get cute. Can we do something for <laughs> so you? What can I do for you? Um. No, I don't think we did. I don't think we Take did anything. Care now. Okay. So we need to go to Broadmoor Heights, which is this one down here, right? Let's go, boys and girls. I love the fact we're running everywhere with a pig. Raid on Little Vegas Nightclub! Blood on the dance floor. Yes, we'd like to travel there. We're going to go talk to Gideon. I can't really remember who Gideon is. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll see where we head out. I mean, I guess we're heading outside, right? Guess we need to uh, to start progressing the story and seeing if we can we can get in contact with some Darcys. I feel like whether that's the right approach or not, I don't know. We're level eleven, and I think the we'll first mission. A lot of around here, I bet. <laughs> no, you're right, Scotch. That's the last time anyone saw the Patriot. He was down at the old air base to beat the Rangers, I think. Uh, it's a big rock candy mountain. Uh, no mistake. Right, he's up the uh, top here, right? No, Diligent one. Joe is here. Welcome, Rangers. Ah, you're back, Ranger. So please go on in. Good day. I don't know where we're going. Is there is there anything on the? What does that eye? Where does that eye take us? Okay, let's just go in. Because I don't know if he's in here or not. I can't really remember. Everything kind of merged into one after us um us taking a break from the game. I feel like I wish there was more description or, or at least a waypoint when we select the mission, which I don't see. Um, oh, so does that... So 
But we've just done these. We should put Valerie in Brawlmore Heights to say how things have turned out. I don't know who Gideon is. Hello, is there a Gideon around here? I'm looking for a Gideon. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about the hobo coming in. What just happened? I guess we're being spotted by that dude, maybe? Who the hell is Gideon? Where might I find him? I don't know. This is the museum, right? I don't think he's in here. Times around this table. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where Gideon is. Was he in one of those houses? Was he in that house with a scientist? Is that... I don't think I'm going to see in here, right? Look at this place. Right. Yeah, I wish it was a bit more descriptive as, as to where I might find Gideon. Like, in case I hadn't played this game for a few months. Which is weird, because when I first started, I was, I was really into it. I played quite a lot right off the bat. I really enjoyed it. And then I've got such a short attention span. I tend to get into games, and then after about 12 hours or so, I'm just like, oh, I wish I wish this wasn't, wasn't a thing anymore. Um... Right, we're going to go over here, right? So, was it Gideon Ward, maybe? That's what we're going to start with. Bellamy Ward. Gideon, were you upstairs? No, Elijah. Well, that's annoying, right? Who the hell is Gideon? And where might I find him? Was he in the church? Maybe he's in the church, right? I don't know where he is. We're coming in, everybody. I heard Mr. Howe found himself a pretty blonde thing. Really? Gideon, here he is. What did his wife say to that? Nothing. She's been too big. I heard you were speaking to some people at the refugee camp. Do you have any news? As long as we're working with a woman named Mama Cotta, we arrest her. I'm glad this ended bloodlessly. You handled an impossible situation well, Rangers. Yeah, we did. At least this will give the city some breathing room. Our resources are stretched, but... I think we can feed the people who are already here. I mean, now. they're still coming, but um, how about our reward? Such straightforward That's people. us. Straightforward. I know we'll get along. Yeah, we will. Now for your reward. The money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Result. If you have me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Honored even. You're quite a remarkable outfit. And I'd like to help you out. Uh, we could definitely use Excellent. a political Let advisor. Let get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. Thanks, Looking man. forward to what we can accomplish together, Rangers. Me too, buddy, me too. Right, so we've got a couple of things done. Who'd have thought? We completed the full house one, we've completed that. So now we can we can head out, but we need to, we need to head back and buy a chassis for the... Ranger, the problem is I've spent all of our money. So I th wonder if it's worthwhile traveling 
I'm going to hide this because these are all completely one. I wonder if it's worthwhile traveling to Denver. Maybe. I don't know how we find Denver, but let's leave this place. Here we come. What a team we are. Let's get out of here, boys and girls. Let's get out. Let's get out of here, boys and girls. What the hell are you doing? Right. So I guess we head, I guess we just head out of town, right? Maybe we, I mean, maybe we go back. I've got no money, but maybe we go back. Perhaps we can also buy a better melee weapon for the hobo. Breaker one nine. Oh, hello. This here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Yeah. Uh, we read you. Who is this? Ha! Ain't you nosy. Yep. You yeah, know we are. Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Hmm. Angela huh? Death? Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Well, you were the lady right at the beginning of the game. Wasn't our intent when command sent us out here to reconnoiter. But well, things took an unexpected turn. Uh, where are you? Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. Nice, you lucky devil. <sighs> I'll bet. <laughs> okay, he good. came out here for the same reason as you. Because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. Right. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. I'm not sure this is the right place to talk about it, right? Um, why are you telling why us this? Why do you think? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. Okay. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him, but when you do... Ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. Uh, how do we find him? His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. Interesting. And listen, when you do find him, Bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left. Oh, arm. hobo, you're so out, mate. Um, doesn't sound like the Patriarch would approve of this. I don't reckon he would, no. But then he wouldn't approve of you talking to me either. Guess not. Uh, we'll check it out when we're done with what we're doing. Yes, compadres, and good luck. I'll Thanks. be dead red over and out. Thanks, Angela. No one's allowed in there. Oh, come on. Come on. Right, let's get going. We, we'll come back to that. I don't think we want to cross the uh, the Patriarch right Rangers now. Uncover human smuggling conspiracy. Subversive leader arrested. But now we've given all the marshals. the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Now we've given all the marshals power armor. That's a bit annoying, right? Okay, we're going to head back to Ranger HQ. We're going to see how much it's going to cost to do the vehicle. Then we're gonna um then we're gonna head out somewhere where we can go where we haven't got to worry about rads. I think that's the plan. Hello 
Oh god, not again. Is this thing on? This is Charlie Knows. Hi Charlie Knows. You don't have to yell, Charlie. Oh, sorry. Glad I got a hold of you, oh, red hat friends. Your old friend Charlie is at it again. I found a way to increase our fortunes. How does that sound? Can't remember who this dude is. Over. Fortune sounds great. Could you please stop yelling? <laughs> See what and did that. you know how important it is to trade in Colorado. And more importantly, how wealthy it is. Okay. Problem is, the monster army holding it is weak. Without your help, they'd already be gone. But sooner or later, someone is going to wipe them out. So why not make it a cartel stronghold? With your help, it'll be easy. And... You'll be well compensated for your contribution. Um, why would you want to work with us after what happened in Little Vegas? Well, since Mr. Brygo's oh, gone, him. Charlie has found himself bereft of gainful employment. But when opportunity comes knocking, who does Charlie know who's efficient and can handle themselves in a fight? It's the geezer from the bar in Little Vegas. You help me with this, and there'll be no hard feelings about the nightclub business, Red Hats. It's simple economics. Uh, why would we trust you? Why wouldn't you? I dealt straight with you so far, right? Didn't I tell you the truth about McTavish? Don't I always tell you the truth? Come on, Red Hat. It's me, your old buddy, Charlie. He sounds a little desperate. Uh, what does well compensated mean? Don't worry. Your old buddy, Charlie, won't sell you short. We just need a little assistance and you'll be paid handsomely. Who's we? Uh, not gonna happen. Really now, Red Hats? What's the point of saying no to such a lucrative proposition? Here's what I'll do. I'll give you some time to think about it. When you inevitably come to the conclusion that the answer should have been yes, you can find us in a hideout near the old parking lot, outside the bazaar. We'll be... Okay, so we got a choice to make. We either tell the, uh... Some help. Who does? You. Yes, Rangers. I'm so glad you're back. My wife and I need help. Raiders strap bombs to us with some kind of proximity trigger. If we get near each other, they'll blow up. That's so cool. Uh, why do you need Rangers for this? Our friends died and no one else will come. Most people are afraid of bombs, but not you, right? I mean, I'm a little afraid of bombs. Where's your wife? I think she's over by the big entrance. I'm not sure because we know if we get too close to each other, we'll be turned into wall smears. I miss her a lot. Okay, um... Examine the bomb. As you move closer, he backs Wait, up. Wait, there's a special trigger. You have to disarm both bombs at the same time, <sighs> or they'll explode. Same if we get too close. Please, send people to my wife so you can disarm them at the same time. This feels like it's dodgy. Uh, you're able to get a glimpse of the bomb before you step back. It looks like the bomb is made of paper tubes, spray paint, and red and connected to the handheld radio with ordinary string. Um, we'll see what we can do. Thanks, Rangers. We thought we were dead for sure. I don't know who our... I don't know who our bomb man is. You three, come over here. Is she indoors? Sir. There's a lot of people out here. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. The hell they're in! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it. And now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our space? I'm just saying. Oh, Team November. I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. An altercation? Nothing serious. No one was hurt. Some harsh words and a shove. Sergeant Gratsky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Yeah, well... This isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to get your people under control. Gratsky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. 
Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments. But today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem is not going to go away if we ignore it. Wow. We need a solution before things explode. Lucky I'm here. I find solutions. Um, any suggestions for a fix? The warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. <laughs> we were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. Uh, this wasn't the first instant? There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but there's more than a few who ain't. Calling us names as they walk past, or telling us we're on borrowed time here, in our own home. Oh man, stop Zach, saying that. I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. Yeah, well, we're waiting. We gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home. All right, Quan, Jesus. Here's our Shoot. decision. Uh, we make a deal, we stick to it. You can stay where you are. Rangers have to problem with that. They have to be disciplined. Uh, we won't go back on our deal, but adjustments have to be made before someone gets killed. Room in the brig, uh, you'll move. There's more. There's a room in the brig. Move in there. So you have a mission. We have a mission. Um, discipline. You, you're siding with us? Yep. The honorable choice, Team November. But it won't lessen the friction. Well, I'm afraid we'll pay for this later. Well, ultimately, people will have to learn, right? I'm guessing he meant she was this way. No? Where's his wife? Anyone know where his wife is? Hello? Good luck out there. Down here? Hola. Who stands like a queen among a gang of hard men? Okay. She gives a sleepy, uh, sleepy, dangerous smile. <laughs> Peace, strangers. We all know both sides are armed and lethal, so... Why don't we just skip the posturing and get to business? Huh? Well, I brought one person along. A girl I own ran away recently, and it's proving harder than expected to track her down. The girl you own. She seems to sense us when we get too close. <sighs> On the other hand, should never suspect. <laughs> oh, it's the lady at the for rescuing little lost lambs. Downtown, in it. Even seek you out. So. What you say? Hmm? The lady downtown. You find her for us? Now, what's the girl's name? Ellie. No. Hallie, I think. Anyway, her new owner will rename her. What's important is her description. Early 20s, blonde, shapely, skin like a princess. You'll know her when you see her. I already know her and I haven't seen her. She'll make well, I have, hard but you know what I mean. Peter Bat. <laughs> um... The girl you own, are you slavers? <laughs> that bothers you? A little bit. You find it unethical? A little bit. You kill crazy corpse robbing, tyrant funded gun jockeys are offended at how I make my living? Yeah, actually, as it goes, yes. Sorry, compadres. This is the end times. Nothing but us devils left. Uh, who are you? I'm La Perla. And these are my boys. Oh, hello, boys. I see you're all hard. Um, what's in it for us? Uh, we shouldn't be condoning something like this. Not unless it's a really good deal. <laughs> ah, it is. I promise you. You know the sealed rooms in your base? Yeah. Bueno, I'll tell you for free. 
It's old world tech. The kind people waged wars for. And... I know the codes. In the name of good faith... Am I meant to write this down? Nine zero zero nine zero nine three five zero zero. Test if you like. I'll wait. <laughs> You'll get the second code, the one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. Well, this is interesting. Um. How do you know about the sealed rooms? Used to stay here all the time before we moved east. Had plenty of time. Oh, so you took all the good stuff. Hey, don't worry. No hard feelings about you taking it over. We like our new home on the plains. Those warlords have a lot of money to spend. Um. We'll get back Chasing to you. Down far as I know, she's still somewhere in Colorado Springs. Suggest you start looking down. We'll be here. I know who she when is. Right. Where is this woman's wife? So you're here. She's not over here, right? We're pretty sure of that. We came over here. We couldn't see her. He said by the big entrance. Is she anywhere over here? Here to serve. Aha. Uh -huh. We split them up. Open fire. Really? This was the plan. This was the plan. Oh, hello. This was the plan, it turns out. Not fine. We will One mark target. Humiliating beating coming up. Nice. Nice. Mo, you're up, buddy. I've got an explosive crossbow. <laughs> Good luck, dude. Come on, Verge. Not enough AP. Great. Back up this way a little bit. Hey, Gomez. We know he's behind us, so let's get you over here. Oh, come on, mate. I need to get you drunk. I forgot. I mean, this is a very weird place to attack, right? Jesus, there's loads of them. Here he comes. Holy shit. No, pig, pig, there's exploding arrows in him. What are you doing? New targets incoming. Really? Where? Guess we're going for the head then. 
Oof. Okay, okay, good. Good work, buddy. Good work. I guess I'm going to move you here since I, uh... Stop hitting my turrets. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Well, I'm glad you're all here. Now shoot him. Uh, nice. Holy crap. Here comes the pig. Okay, where can I get you to? Um, I'm stand by you guys. Don't kill me. Big Verge is coming up as well. Love it. Keep moving. So you're stunned. Let's hope this doesn't kill the pig. Okay, good. Let's get you to move up. Please don't kill the pig. Nice. Here she comes again. Oh, God. Oh, good Lord. Oh, and the pig. Not great from the turret. This should be the end of her, right? I wonder who these people are. Who are these people? Do I know them? Nice. We'll take that. And we'll take that. And I guess we'll take that. Okay. What the hell just happened here? Good luck out there. Well, now I've got to go get healed again. God damn it. We had to come in here anyway, right? What the... Uh, I need to get healed, please. Of course, no sense in bleeding all. Have a seat. Thank you, buddy. Doc Parker, what a legend. Uh, never mind. Just Let's get down here. Get shot up out there and make more work. We'll let Gomez do this.
Enter the number. Please don't blow up. Begins to slide open. Oh god, is there going to be things down here that wants to kill us? No, okay, just... Just down here, just one box. PDA utility. Nerd stuff bonus. Tank armor. Tank helmet. Tank legs. Can we give them to Verge? And is it any better than what we've got? So your helmet is 6 plus uh, uh, stats effects. So the helmet isn't any better. I've got two of them actually as it goes. Uh, what about this? So that's plus 9. So we'll give you that. Holy crap. Look at it. And then uh, the leggings. Plus 6. Nice. I guess realistically we should give you some of this, right? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Um, modify weapon. I guess we'll give you this. You look like a legend, right? Okay, you. Modify armor. Um, give you a healing bonus? Okay, fine. We can do that. Nothing for legs. Everything else is pretty good, right? We got this monocle, but I think we already got one. I think we can sell it. Okay, so we know that what she's given us is true. But the question is, do we... Do we want to sell people into slavery I'm, I mean the answer to that is no right um, if you want, like the garage from here you can customize the Kodiak um, this improves the stats weaponry abilities and more you can also customize its appearance so you can ride through the wastelands in style. You just before you discover new upgrades. Okay. So I guess we come over here, right? Look at all these dudes. Oh, there's fast back over there. Um, equipment. Chassis? Oh, we have to buy one, right? Okay. So we need to come and talk to you. This is going to be expensive. Hey, Rangers. Good to be here. Uh, don't mind the mess. We're still settling in. I appreciate it. How are you finding the accommodation? Had to make do with worse. Look at this, down here. In all honesty, though, this is a good space. Lots of room. Lots of supplies in reach. Give it a few more days and we'll give you a garage that'd make Steel Town go green with envy. Well, I really appreciate that. Uh, let's see what you have for sale. Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. Um, Defender chassis. So this gives us plus 300 constitution, radiation resist resistance level 1. Uh, we haven't got much money. Uh, world map speed plus 25% and impact damage. Whereas this one is more expensive. Radiation con um, condition uh, constitution 1000 plus level 2. I mean ideally we'd like that right? And we want that. Okay. Got a laser turret on top. Let's sell some junk to him. We've got 247 bucks. I really shouldn't have spent all that money, it turns out. Which is a little annoying. Um, I guess we can sell some of these, but... I guess... Uh, you know what? Let's just head out and see where we can go. We've been... We've been in and around this place far too... Oh, I can just get in the... I can just get in the doodah, right? Guys, I know you're working on it, but we're taking the bad boy out. Um, and I guess we're going to wrap up here. I appreciate it's been kind of us running around talking to people and looking for people. Uh, we've got a few new missions with some decisions to make. Um, but I think we're going to head out and, and fight something. We have to fight something, right? Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button. Uh, new videos are every Tuesday and Thursday on Wasteland. So uh, I hope you're enjoying it. And I will see you all again soon. Thank you. November, this is Ranger HQ. I have good news. There's some new gear here next time you stop by. 
We literally just left. It's a big improvement over the basic stuff we had before. Okay, and we got no money. One last thing. The Patriarch commissioned a sculptor to make a statue of Vargas outside our HQ. He's nearly done, but he'd like to know who we want to dedicate this statue to. Um, the Fallen Rangers. Good call, November. Making sure the Rangers know they'll be remembered if the worst comes to pass may boost camaraderie. I'll pass it along. Over and out. Thanks, man. Okay, we're going to leave it here. Thank you. I'll see you all again soon.